Hey, Budget Buds. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope that your day is off to a really good start. And whenever you're watching this, you are just in good spirits. If you are new here, my name is Natasha and I am saving for the big things in life on a little budget. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, Budget Buds. Um, first, let me say thank you to all who have been watching my videos as of recently leaving lots of love and comments those that have entered the giveaway thank you it is still very much active until or open until next week so definitely check out um my cash stuffing for november and christmas giveaway video i will link it in the cards above um so yeah oh and also big Big, big thank you to all of you. I have reached a thousand subscribers. Um, and again, my goal was just to hit 750 uh, by the end of um, this year. And so I am just really, really excited and even more grateful that I was able to reach 1K by the hold on guys sorry about that um it's sunday my toddler is in full play mode and some things just happened but it's all good so um i am super super late with this video but i have just um work has been pretty busy um given that it was my first week back at work um in two weeks and then I had just been really tired. We've been getting home a little later in the evening than normal. And so life was just lifing. But I finally want to, I'm going to take this out of my notebook, share with you all what my family is getting for Christmas, the budget edition. So of course, you know, I have a draft for everything. I'm gonna put my clean copy here. But first, I wanna share with you all, I'm gonna zoom you in a bit. Sorry if I just shook you. Okay, to what I have used to save for Christmas. So hopefully you can see this. This came from lazygeniusmom.com. Um, and I found it on Pinterest. So I typed in a Christmas savings plan and this came up and it was a 52 week savings plan um and so I thought it was really manageable the first week is one dollar um week 52 let me move it up here is 53.50 and the total savings amount is one thousand nine dollars um I liked it because the amount, the largest amount wasn't too big and it was manageable. And so what I did, because I get paid twice a month, I simply just looped the weeks together. So for instance, for January, I did week one and week 52. Sorry, just making sure you guys can see that. And then I did week two and week 51. So I made it a point to save the smallest and the largest amount. The only other thing that I did differently is that when I needed to save an amount that was ending in 50 cents, I just rounded it up to the nearest dollar. So instead of saving a dollar 50, I saved $2. Instead of saving 53.50, I saved $54. And in total that saved me or I was able to save an extra $55. And so you'll see that when I show you how much I actually saved for my budget. So again, this came from lazygeniusmom.com. I found it on Pinterest and I really liked it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna just put this paper underneath so that I'm writing. And guys, you know I have to tilt you, I'm sorry. So at this point, I have actually done all my Christmas shopping. Um, so yes. And if I do this correctly, because I have $30 left in my Christmas envelope, that is the amount that should be remaining. So let me see if I can get this right. So because I did that Christmas challenge and I saved an extra 50 cents on the amounts that ended in 50, I was able to save 
$1,064. So again, the challenge in of itself saved $1,009. I saved an extra 55. And so that was $1,064. Um, Honestly, I've never saved this much money for Christmas. This was the first time that I started and finished the challenge. And so for me, I wasn't sure how I was going to spend it and thought, what better way than to budget? Now, I will say there were like multiple iterations of this budget in one, trying to figure out what I wanted to get my family for Christmas, as well as some original Christmas plans. Um included a shopping trip before that got canceled and then it was back on again and that's a very long story so I simply wrote down the person and the gift that I was getting them for this instance I'm only going to keep it to the person just so that they are not aware of what they are getting in case they are watching this video and gave each person a dollar amount and so from there, I was able to say, okay, I know this person likes this store or they like this particular thing. Is it within my budget? If it is, great, I can purchase it. If it isn't within my budget, I simply purchased a gift card to the store um, or a general gift card so that they can put towards getting that. Um, I am a firm believer that it is all about the thought. It is all about showing people that you listen and care versus the dollar amount that you spend. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so starting with my mom, um, that was $50. And with my dad, keeping it fair, $50. So for my family that is out of town and those are my parents are out of town, I decided to do gift cards to places that I know they like and frequent and shop. And so they are able to get whatever they like. Um, my sister is $40. And my brother in love was also $40. Again, for the married folks, I was keeping it, keeping it even. Um, the most expensive gift that I purchased was for my babe. And the reason why is because, well, for several. So I spent four, excuse me, $100. Now, for several reasons. One, because I saved the money and I could. Two, he is the type of person who never really says they want anything for Christmas, birthday. You know, it's just a matter for him. It's like, you thought about me, you got me something, and I appreciate that. And I absolutely love that about him. That's why I'm with him. But this year, um, I usually start asking him a month in advance of whatever the holiday is. So if it's his birthday, I ask like about a month or six weeks in advance, and then same for Christmas. So I ask at the beginning of November, I was like, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And he was like, I don't know. I'll get back to you, which is usually the sign for I'm really not going to think about this. I don't know what I want. I'll give you, you know, I'll take whatever you give me. But this year, right, like 2021, which is this is our 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, our sixth Christmas together, he actually said what he wanted, named the very specific thing that he wanted, and I was floored and I was shocked. Um, and the, I will say device, I don't want to give it away, even though he knows because he, he named, well, he named the general vicinity of what he wanted. Um, and so it had multiple options, multiple iterations of the device, and of course, one costing more than the other. And so I got the one that was somewhat in the middle in terms of cost so that I could still get him a really nice, the really nice one, but also still have money left. And so the reason why I spent this much money was because um, he's always getting me exactly what I want for Christmas. 
because I'm good at naming that and because he's just deserving of it. So a bulk of my money went towards that gift and I am super, super okay with that. Um, my daughter, I spent $100 or I budgeted 100 One, because I think last Christmas, I definitely overdid it, spent a lot of, of um money in my savings for lots of gifts that I either ended up throwing away that have broken pieces missing and that have completely taken over my home and have caused anxiety level um, or anxiety causing clutter and mess and I didn't want to do that again and so I try to keep gifts meaningful and simple and so a hundred dollars towards those gifts as well as I do a little stocking stuffer box that she's able to open on Christmas Eve. Uh, just like little trinkets, um, definitely one being a book that we read that night and then um, some little socks as well as some like Dollar Tree or Dollar Spot from the Target toys. Um, my little cousin, who is absolutely my favorite cousin, um, $30 and I was able to and i'm not gonna say it because she does watch my videos but i was able to get her um a gift card to a place she loves and a very like meaningful gift of something um that she likes like it's a show and they have a line of things and so i was able to get her something from that line and so i hope she absolutely 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 loves it but anyway um there is a tradition that my mom started when um, a little, maybe two, three years after my sister, my older sister was born and has kept it up um, even now that we're grown and out of the house. And I always said that when I was an adult and when I had my daughter, I would start the tradition. So we collect um, holiday Barbies and I'll put a picture of this year's holiday Barbie. Um, and if I can find it, I will put my mother's collection of holiday Barbies. Um, we grew up fortunate to receive lots of presents growing up, but my parents were not by any means rich or comfortable, right? Like, and I didn't understand that until I was older. So my mom could only buy one Barbie um, for the collection. We couldn't have one of our own. And my sister kind of claims the collection as her own because she's the firstborn, whatever the case may be. Um, there was one year, 1997, that my mom did buy one of each. So I have one from a random year. And then when my daughter was born in 2018, I started the collection. And so that is money that I always factor into my Christmas budget. Um, the holiday Barbie comes up to about like $43 and change with tax. And so I put $45 towards that. Um, these are not dolls that we play with. These are collectibles. Um, and so, yeah, I fit that into my budget. But let's keep going. Um, something or someone or, yeah, someone else. Um, my daughter's teachers. So if you are new here, I've talked about this briefly. Um, my daughter is hearing impaired. And so we send her to a very special school to ensure that one she is getting the help she receives for her unique disability but also so that she has that wonderful school experience where she's absolutely learning and thriving i think as an educator myself that they do an awesome job with her and so i try my best to get gifts for all of the teachers so it is her teacher her speech therapist her audiologist and then now that we use before and after care I, and we have been late sometimes, I do want to make sure that I get them something. And so we um, we give Starbucks gift cards because who doesn't love Starbucks? So I know she has her three teacher or a teacher, her speech therapist and her audiologist. So that was three. And then I purchased four more gift cards for the teachers who rotate into um, before and after care. So seven gift cards at $10 is a total of $70. So let's see where we are with what we've budgeted thus far. So we're at 50 plus 50 plus 40 plus 40 plus 400 plus 100 plus 30 
plus 45 plus 70. Okay, so we're at 825. Now, for my Christmas giveaway, all of the gifts that were purchased did not come from Christmas. So the cash prizes um, came from my TLB or this little budget envelope. So I'm not going to count that here. I am only going to count what I spent on the gifts and that ranged from, um, that was $140. So for the four physical gifts, um, and this is a rounded number because it was like 130 something or whatever the case may be. So add that here, we're at 965. So if I take 1064 minus 965, $99. So, if I take away the 30 that I know I have left, I am not sure where I might have spent this $69. Um, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, so either way, I didn't put a total. See, this is bad. Gotta make sure I pay attention. So all of this came to 965. Um, the amount remaining, and I'll figure this piece out, is $99. The point here is that Christmas can be a time that is absolutely joyful, spent with family, and a good time. And it is always great to be able to give a gift it is great to be able to receive a gift but that uncomfortable uneasy guilty feeling that sometimes comes after the holiday when you look at what you spent and then bills still exist afterwards is never a feeling that I know I want to have again and so being able to one save this amount and then budget it out um what you don't see here are gifts for friends and I got this from the budget mom actually when she just named like set your boundaries with Christmas and this this year was not a boundary that I set to give lots of gifts to friends um, and maybe next year that is something that I can do but I really wanted to focus on giving my family quality gifts um, with the money that I was able to save and I think I did just that so this is pretty much I guess not what my family is getting for Christmas, but what I spent to give my family um, meaningful gifts for the holiday season. Christmas is my favorite time of year. And I wanted to make sure that people felt that love um, in the gifts that I bought them. And even if it just said, I appreciate you and I hope that you have a, a wonderful season. And so I am under budget as I know right now based on this $99, but I have $30 left. And so definitely came under budget and I feel really good about that. Um, and so yeah, this was my Christmas budget. Uh, again, I am done with all of my Christmas shopping and I feel really good about that. So I hope you have your Christmas budget. If not, I hope you are working on one. Um, I hope you are either done with your shopping or almost done with your shopping. And yeah, that is all that I have for you today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love reading you all's comments and responding. And until the next, until next time, bye budget buds.